is Charlie in Live on iHeartRadio, broadcasting out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Your station is 105.9 FM, and that is a talk show, a talk radio. And we are also on 99.1 Bloomberg News Radio out of Salt Lake City, the newest station on your FM dial, giving you news and financial and investment news all day long. And then your host, Charlene, comes on in the evening to brighten up your day on 99.1. FM. Now, if you're tuning in to 570 AM on traditional radio, welcome to the show. We just wrapped up the Utah Bitcoin Conference October 1st, and I am so excited. We were able to launch the first edition of Tokens Magazine here. I'm holding up in my hand. We just had an amazing time. The artwork on the cover is a popular NFT on the internet and it's gone viral. The cover of Tokens Magazine first edition is Oh, it's it's I would say it's off the chain, but it's now literally on the blockchain in history. The artist Michelle Mafra, she did such an amazing job. Her artwork is featured throughout Tokens Magazine. If you want to see what you missed from the Utah Bitcoin uh, conference that was held on Friday, October 1st, you can go online to tokensmagazine.com, tokens magazine.com and you can purchase a signed copy all the artists and the speakers and the dignitaries that were present at the utah bitcoin summit they signed these magazines we only have a limited uh, first edition of the signed copy i think we only have 50 copies and i don't even know how many are left but if you go on to tokensmagazine.com you can actually purchase a signed copy for the memorabilia of Utah Bitcoin and technology. Now this is a hundred percent, a hundred pages printed high quality with perfect bound with a spine that says first edition on it. And you don't want to miss it. On the back is my favorite technology, the um, home equity tokens and coins uh, blockchain technology that allows you to convert your equity, your property, real estate equity into tokens and trade those on the blockchain. That allows you to eventually get rid of your mortgages, get rid of your home equity loan. So we're going out with HELOC and we're in with HETAC. So that's the tagline. Out with HELOC, in with HETAC home equity tokens and coins and welcome to the show my good friend gary is joining us he was at the utah bitcoin conference with his technology scion system which is a, a, a cyber security um, protective uh, technology that helps you protect your your systems and your identity online welcome to the show gary it's great to be here Charlene, and thanks for the amazing summit that you put together and all the amazing people that came and presented. It was a fantastic opportunity. Yes, great. What was your favorite part of the whole day? I know it was jam-packed from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., not even a moment to take a breath. What was your experience at the summit? Well, I think uh, I agree with you. There was something always going on. I think... Uh, it shows a little bit that it's emerging technology because we're on the campus and it's one of the things that I think in the very near future, because I've been on a lot of things that were kind of emerging and we we're lucky enough to be there when the participants weren't as crowded as it will be getting, but to see the fantastic, I mean, I keep, how, I, I'm struggling for adjectives, right? <laughs> no, it's okay to repeat. Amazing, great, fantastic, yes. exciting, whatever adjective. Whatever. It's just, yeah, human, the, the English language just comes up short when it gets to em expressing emotion. We use the same words over and over again. But yeah, I but, feel but your I wanted energy. to say the caliber of every one of the workshops, the caliber of all of the auditorium type and the luncheon speakers and and the infrastructure the billions of dollars that have gone in to some of this amazing technology that's coming together 
uh, <clears throat> kind of against the norm and the big business, big government, big everything. So the individuals and and the uh, low people on the totem pole really have a way to get together themselves and be an entity that they control their own destiny and control their own wealth. Yes, it's amazing that you brought up that point. In Tokens Magazine, first edition, I did a feature story on kind of who owns what in the Bitcoin and the crypto space, and I'm trying to find that page. Um, so basically, we have... Uh, only 8% of the, the one percenters, the people at the top, there's always been at the top, the one percenters, unfortunately, they only own less than 8% of this $2 trillion uh, Bitcoin market cap uh, or cryptocurrency uh, market cap. Uh, the rest of the 92% of all the whole cryptocurrency space is owned by other people other than the 1% other than the Fortune 500 companies, other than the billionaires. The, the And that was the intent of the Bitcoin and the blockchain uh, was to spread out the wealth. And, you know, people talk all the time about taking from the rich and redistributing wealth. Folks, we're not talking about redistributing wealth. We're talking about new wealth, generating new wealth. It's kind of like if you were around at the time when someone first struck oil and, and that first, you know, what is it, promontory where the, the, the Pacific Railroad met the West. No, yeah. That's right, promontory point. Promontory point. If you were around then and you had invested in some of those uh, early technologies, early things, we had on stage during the lunch and the first Bitcoin millionaire, Eric uh, Finman, his grandmother had given him a thousand dollar as a as a present um, because he was, you know, mowing lawns, a local boy from Idaho, right here in the West. Everything happens in the West, right? Everything starts yeah. in the West and then it moves forward. The, the television was invented by Farnsworth right here in the West. Now we have the first Bitcoin millionaire it was a 16 year old kid who bought a thousand dollars of Bitcoin. I don't even remember how much he said it was when he bought it, but now you can tell it's uh, hovering around 47, $48,000 uh, US dollars to one Bitcoin this morning. Uh, Gary, you got a technology in this uh, new space. How is your technology fits into the blockchain uh, uh, network? Well, basically, you got uh, blockchain is a peer to peer. So you you're in the individuals empowered to pick and choose the peers that he wants to deal with, not having big entities decide that. So but how do you get to the point where you touch with peer to peer? You have to go through the Web or some connectivity, YouTube, like we're doing right now on the radio broadcast live spring. We have all live stream. We have all this technology out there, but it's all exposed. As I was telling you, I like to equate it because it's hard for the human mind to grasp all of these bits and terminologies. And every time you turn around, somebody has a new uh, synonym. I mean, Bitcoin, what is it, right? Where do I see it? I can't see it. I can't hold it. I don't know what it is. So basically, security within the internet now, if you really read everything and equate to what that means, it's like having all of your assets in a bank that doesn't have a safe in it, doesn't have locks on the doors, and it's an average of six weeks before you find out somebody stole your asset. So a local company lost $150,000. And it took them about six weeks before they recognized that somebody had come in and just taken $150,000. Our technology, it puts a safe in the bank, puts locks on the doors, and puts laser beams around so that basically if you look at the assets or try to look at the assets, you get notified. So primarily, your access, uh, identity management, all of those things are all pretty well governed by Microsoft's Active Directory. They're the de facto standard as well as the main player in the marketplace. 
So every time you're going to get access to your assets or or decide who's going to have rights to what, you have to go through this gateway. And basically, for decades now, and with former Microsoft uh, architects and engineers, we built a software that actually makes it so easy. You can point and click. One major school district went from four full-time network engineers that were struggling to one, one to three hours a day, doing more than the other. As people come and go, it leaves all kinds of exposure. So basically all of this, because it's a defined environment, that's why it works. Microsoft has defined the environment. We have then put the tools around that allow you to manage these millions of things that are going bits and pieces flying all over the place. We allow you to manage it. Yeah, basically, uh, thank you for tuning in, everyone. This is Charlene live on iHeartRadio. Our guest is Gary Danhell with Scion Systems, and their technology is enterprise identity management. Because as people come in and out of your network, in, in and out of your systems, which is your mar- your internal marketplace, you need to protect those coming in, and you need to protect those going out. And so you need a structure on top of... so. Even if you got your 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 PCs and your Macs, they don't really protect the network. They're basically the software and the hardware that allows you to to connect, but they don't really offer the protection. So you need to have an alternative on top of their systems, and that's what Gary is talking about. Thank you for tuning in. This is Charlene live on iHeartRadio ninety nine point one FM. That's Bloomberg News Radio broadcasting out of Salt Lake City, Utah, where you can. Catch all your investment news, your financial news, and then yours truly, Charlene, comes on in the evening to brighten up your afternoon with more Bitcoin technology, startups, and information technology uh, uh, news. Now, at the Utah Bitcoin Conference on October 1st, just a few days ago, we were able to connect the blockchain technology with this new security space. We're talking about decentralized technologies, decentralized communication, and we need to have a way to protect that communication and those systems. And the Scion systems I found to be one of those technologies that you want to explore. Now, to learn about the Scion technologies, you can go to their website. But I also have a feature in Tolkien's magazine on their new products and on their um, security systems. If you get tokensmagazine.com, tokens magazine.com they're on page uh 28 of the magazine you you know what they do is they make it easy to to deploy your security services they support your security service and then they defend your network and then they offer the analyticals the reporting uh to back that up to let you know what's going on they have auditing services thank you for coming on gary and 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 uh, illuminating us on scion systems enterprise identity management but thank, thank you for inviting me on i've really enjoyed this you are a you are a bright light in a dismal environment <laughs> well let's keep it going in talking about light <laughs> are you going to be at the april um Bitcoin and Tech Summit at UBU again. I definitely will. Yeah. And make sure um, you guys go and check that out. You can now pre-register for that. Go on to the tokensmagazine.com homepage there, and there's a link to get uh, pre-register for the next Bitcoin Summit. Now, we were talking about all the highlights of the summit, and we had the first uh, Bitcoin um millionaire on the stage with us. Uh, What were some of the things you talked about learning? What were some of the other things you were able to learn that you'd never even thought of before? Well, I thought one of the amazing things was having that young 18 year old, uh, what, teen? Yeah, Miss Teen Crypto. Yeah, Miss Teen Crypto. She is the 
She is the queen of the young people in crypto, Miss Teen Crypto. <laughs> well, I mean, basically, everybody, she came and went, and it was just a pretty face. But you had that panel afterwards where you had the ladies up there that were yes, all the talking young, powerful, about. The powerful women in crypto, the powerful women of Bitcoin were on the stage doing a, a closing panel. And what an amazing opportunity that was for me to be a part of that, to sit on the stage with these amazing women. We had Litecoin, Lisa, Lisa Davis. And yes, we had Miss Teen Crypto on the stage talking about advancing the adoption among young people. Then we had Christy Matthews and as she came on and talked about getting the um, the baby boomers into the crypto and how they're all frazzled and afraid of losing all their savings and their wealth and their 401k with the devaluation of our local U.S. currency. So they are the biggest adopters for the Bitcoin. People think it's the young people, but it's the, the boomers and the... Um, the well, the, it's the everyone. Kids. It's but it was it was amazing for an eighteen year old girl to get up and be so articulate and passionate about what's happening. So basically, it's nobody's left behind. You know, basic. We went through a time when you said no child left behind in the education school, and we ended up leaving more behind because of the bureaucracy. <laughs> yes. Now you have nobody left behind done by the baby boomers and the and the young kids and everyone in between and nobody really gets left behind yes and if you're following charlene live on iHeartRadio, you will definitely not be left behind because we're bringing you this new technology the blockchain technology the bitcoin and thank you to tokens magazine the uh premier edition first edition is now available at tokensmagazine.com you can download the pdf or you can get a signed copy by miss Dean crypto by all the the um, highlighted speakers and guests and panelists at the Utah Bitcoin Conference. That was an amazing experience, I tell you. When I started putting this together, you guys know that's when I started the show back on May 1st, and then we went all the way up to October 1st talking about the conference. And here we are after October 1st, still talking about the conference and the amazing experience it was, because it indeed for me, the work Putting in the work into it was the joy. I mean, just the day at the, the end, at the end of the day when everybody came and we had a great time, that was just cherry on the cake. But the work of putting the magazine together, um, planning the conference, working with Utah Valley University, the whole committee, I want to shout out to all the committee members who played a role in making this successful, all the sponsors, Gary and all the uh, people who came out and, and really made this. Uh, if it was, I could talk about it all day on the radio, but if nobody came, it would, you know, they would not have known the hard work I put in. So everyone came out and I just want to thank the community. I want to thank all my listeners who came out. You brought your friends. You took the opportunity. We had a great lunch. We had a great, um, you know, vibe going on there. So I cannot say enough Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone. This is Charlene, live on iHeartRadio, 105.9 FM, 99.1 Bloomberg News Radio, and 570 on the AM dial. Our special guest today is Gary with um, Scion Systems. I'm going to give you a couple minutes here, Gary, to, to just wrap up again and tell the audience about Scion Systems and your security and enterprise management, uh, identity management software, and what that has to offer so they can get a little bit more of how they can um, utilize your technology. Go ahead, Gary. Basically, I mean, not to reiterate what we've already said, but now it's easy to deploy. Within a few hours, a couple hours, you can have your environment all synchronized and running better than it ever had. You have visibility. You talked about reporting, but you also have real-time dashboards. And, and you can be the global enterprise CEO and you can set up the dashboard that you can see your, all of your entities all across the world and see those things that you need to be concerned about. At the same time, the local engineer in one of the local places can set up his internet 
uh, dashboard that he's monitoring just those things that are important for him to manage so that it, the problem doesn't escalate up to where the CEO is all of, a, all of a sudden on the radio or in the newspaper realizing they just been breached. Yes, you know what? I, I This morning I actually logged into my T-Mobile phone account and right at the top of the page there is talking about the recent breach. We're folks, uh, information gathering, stealing, uh, <laughs> whatever you want to talk about, call it. People trying to break into networks is a real thing. Almost every single person has had a bank account or a bank that they bank at um, breached. You, you've had your email breached. You've had your phone breached. You've had your social security number stolen and sold uh, hundreds and hundreds of times. And so this uh, enterprise identity management is a critical piece of your business uh, system. You go out, you start a business, you go out, you set up a website, you start selling your goods. And before you know it, all your customer data is all over the internet and they're telling Telling people where they got it from. They're telling people that they came into your store and broke down your back end and your systems and was able to, to, to get that. And so you want to protect your systems. And so Scion Systems offers a solution for that to defend against these um, uh, attempts at gathering and capturing and stealing your data. Not only that, what's interesting is that you have ways of identifying gaps between the system. So once you deploy the science system, you can see the vulnerable areas and you can put lock and keys on the areas where, where businesses need a focus. That's correct. I mean, it does it for you. I mean, basically, and you point and click. So it tells you all the people that have rights that shouldn't have rights. It, it allows you to easily delegate who, a minimal amount of rights to those people that just want to do the menial, menial work, where it says that like 80% of the vulnerability that happens or the breaches that happens where they get into the security gap is because somebody has, has rights that they shouldn't have. Or they left like, the back door open. <laughs> yes. And I you're mean, it's like, about, you're it's like about Target. Like Target had a, uh, air conditioning person that came in they put in the worm and that ended up monitoring the system until it got rights to go over to, and get every one customer that did a transaction during thanksgiving wow and you you're talking about protecting systems for school districts government entities cities and states and municipalities you're not That's talking correct. about just like protecting individual computers you're talking about the 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 institutions that we trust with our information they're so vulnerable and that's where the culprits are after they're after your your state data they're after your county data they're after government data and systems and banks and big institutions that is correct you're absolutely correct and and basically then by but it also protects the little guy too i mean the same software and the same functionality can take a small entity mom and pop as well as a large entity so it's the environment is homogeneous across the whole globe and so it's a very very powerful solution yeah, so we're talking about Scion Systems and their enterprise identity management as well for large corporations and for small business and for individuals. If you're doing business with clients around the globe, you need to have your system uh, under lock and key protected. And if you're doing business locally also, that's a sweet spot for uh, people who you know know the system and can get into your network because they're thinking that you don't think you need it. And so they're going to uh, take advantage of your, um, your vulnerability there and your naivety thinking that you don't need to protect your systems. So uh, Gary, thank you for coming on the show. Hold on, I'm gonna make a few more announcements. 
Thank you all for tuning in. This is Charlene live on iHeartRadio, broadcasting out of Salt Lake City, Utah. We are on going on the road soon. We're going to be heading to Redding, California, where the next Bitcoin and Technology Summit is held on March 18 and 19. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to educate. We're going to uh, uh, mobilize adoption. We're bringing the message to the people. We're not waiting for them to come to us. We're going out there hitting the ground we're taking the bitcoin bus on the road with um all our people all our speakers we're going to places and then after march 18 and 19 in california we're back at uvu in april april 2022 at uvu for another amazing bitcoin and technology summit and also we're going to next week is bitcoin ben show in texas is so many things going on guys we're gonna have to hit the road every single day to get this message across and get this message out there tokens magazine brought to you uh the show brought to you today by tokens magazine the first edition launched on october 1st covering blockchain technology bitcoin all the new technology the home equity tokens and coins where we're going out with HELOC and HIN with ETAX, home equity tokens and coin, converting your uh, equity in your real estate into tokens and coins using that revenue from the blockchain marketplace, from the crypto coin to pay off your loans and mortgages. We are getting rid of the straps and the chains of mortgages. And folks, we are entering into a new age that I call the era of harnessing, where you can harness the value out of your equity with tokens and coins and you can trade that on the blockchain so anybody can buy down to a penny's worth a dollar's worth of your equity and you're not held chained down by your bank or your whoever owns we don't even know who owned the um, the real estate at any given time they're trading those uh titles and those ownership and those notes all across the financial industry but when you tune in to charlie live on iheart radio you'll find ways and learn about information that will help you to migrate onto this digital age and enter into the new era of harnessing you will learn about blockchain technology we'll break that all down for you come on down to the next bitcoin and technology summit at uvu that's going to be april 22 if you're in california we're going to be in redding california that's a shasta county march 18 and 19 and next week we're in texas in bernie texas with bitcoin ben and the gang shouting out to all of you thank you all for coming and for making the bitcoin uh summit the greatest event ever taken place thank you for uh being part of the launch of tokens magazine first edition go and get your signed first edition copy online at tokensmagazine.com tokensmagazine.com this is charlene live on iHeartRadio, 105.9 fm 99.1 and am 570 i look so forward to speaking with you every day about bitcoin blockchain new technology startups and everything in this whole new digital age you don't want to miss a beat go now and get tokens magazine online at tokensmagazine.com.